I'm a Kroger employee. I have been working for Kroger for five years. When COVID first outbroke, we were told not to wear a mask because they were afraid that it would, it would, um, it would, people wouldn't, people would be down. They would, you know, that they have to wear a mask and all that stuff. People were, I mean, in denial in the first week, you know, and wearing a mask would just remind them of the current situation. So we were told at Kroger not to wear a mask in the first week. By the second week, we realized that we needed masks, but Kroger didn't give us masks. They didn't say anything like um, you could wear a mask or anything like that. Week three, they started saying you could wear a mask, but we're not gonna provide any. You have to find your own mask. Fourth week, it was like that. By the fifth week, I was hearing things on the news of Kroger saying, we've provided masks to everyone in, in all of our stores, and they didn't. We still didn't have the mask. It took like about six weeks before we actually had our own PPE, and they were providing masks to, the, to all the employees. So Kroger needs to, um, needs to understand that they're just as bad as Trump. You know, I work for them, but um, they, these businesses, they just didn't, were not aware that they were swimming, they were swimming upstream on this COVID, you know. They were, I don't know. I don't know what to say exactly. But um, I was, I was telling, I was telling in first week when this stuff happened, I was telling people all sorts of things. I was saying uh, we need we need to uh, have masks because if any of us get it, any of the employees, since I'm a since I'm a, a bagger, if I got it, you know, and you know, that was the fear then is that anybody could get it and it might it might go exponential because people were saying it was going to go exponential. And I was, um, and I was thinking, you know, if I, if I get it, I'm going to spread it to everybody in the town if I don't get a mask. And um, I didn't know where to get masks or what, you know. And I kept saying that like every day. I was telling people that. And then there were other things that I knew, like they got overstressed um, that. If COVID hit you, um, your immune system would be suppressed because uh, when you're stressed, that's what causes stomach ulcers. Is that there's bacteria in your stomach that when you're stressed gets out of hand, the immune system won't take care of it and it will produce ulcers. So I was telling people early on, like within the first week and on, I was telling people, go home watch it watch it i mean play play a game with friends turn off the cell phone don't watch tv um i was you know anything that would cause stress i was telling people to to go in that direction i still haven't heard anything on the news about avoiding stress you know or any of the medical uh officials saying anything about stress i'm wondering where the fuck robert sapolsky is not telling everybody we need to eliminate stress. You know, what a dumbass, you know, Robert Sapolsky is. Somebody should go out and find him and kick his ass because he's not he's not getting up on this podium and sticking up for the stress because that is what a lot of this is, you know. People are getting overstressed. Look, if you think you if you think you're gonna die from COVID, you're gonna die from COVID. Um, because you're, you're going to be overstressed. But you need to wear a mask because COVID is a terrorist. It is a, it's a terrorist that we can't find, just like bin Laden, just like bin Laden was. But this, this guy hides out everywhere. And um, we are fighting as soldiers against this.
when we disinfect, we're disinfecting for everything, not only COVID, but everything. So it, it's a benefit to, to disinfect everything. And not to wear the mask is, is un-American because it's like saying, um, we're not gonna go to war. We're not, we're not, gonna, we're not gonna go out and, and be on the front lines. We're gonna sit complacent and pretend like there is no war, okay? That's what you're saying. And it's killed more people than any war has. All the wars combined have not even compared to how many people this has killed in our country. I, um, I mean, somebody can run the math, but I, how long will it take before all the wars will be completely um, pointless, okay, of what, the number of people that died in those wars? And the people that, that survive this are not going to get all that medical benefits like the vets don't get medical benefits after leaving the wars. They're, they're, people are not going to get it. I mean, we're just like any other soldier that's ever been in any American war, you know. Um, but the thing was is that those American wars that we had in the past, a lot of them were unjustified. And we just went to war because we thought we were protecting the world. Now the same people that were more up in arms about protecting, going out into wars and, and uh, doing all of that, those are the people that are pushing back. And I'm saying, you're dumbasses, you're complete imbeciles to, to, to push this idea that somehow you have a right not to wear a mask. Uh, it's, called, it's called a privilege. It, it's a privilege for you to have rights. Um, if you don't have, I mean, if, if, if you are, if your rights are working against, against the country, um, those privileges are going to be revoked and you won't have them, okay? So the thing is, is to wear a mask. It's very simple. If you can't, if you can't follow that, get out of the fucking country. We don't need you here. We don't even need you in the world. You go find some cliff, jump off it. We won't give a shit. 